Cherish with Cherish My Closet, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get these smoky eyes right here. If you want to know how I did my eyebrows, I'll leave the link below as well. So let's get started. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell below. All right, vamos. All right, so we are getting started. I have already primed my eyes with a little bit of concealer. I did not set that concealer because I really want the product to latch on to the concealer. It gives off a lot more pigmentation and you do have to do a little bit of extra blending when applying your eyeshadow, but the payoff is worth it. So I am just putting this orange color right over top my concealer and blending the edges out. We don't want any harsh lines, but we do want a really strong pigmented color. Now I'm going in with a black eyeshadow. You can use any palette that you have on hand really. This look is so simple but really beautiful and timeless. I'm using my Jaclyn Hill palette and I went in with one of her orange colors first. They don't have the names on the packaging. That would be nice but they don't. So it's an orange color and then I just went in with the black and now I'm going in with a gel liner. I believe it's L'Oreal or Maybelline, whatever you have on hand. You can use a pencil as well. We're just slapping this all over the eyelid from about the crease down. If you have hooded eyes, you kind of just have to guesstimate. You know, my eyes are slightly hooded, so I go a little bit above my crease. And now I am just blending that out with and kind of setting it with the black eyeshadow so that you can't see any lines or any difference between the two products. Starting with the second eye and just doing the same thing. Just blending that into the eyelid, right below that orange color, because my eyes are semi-hooded. So if I only put this product in from the crease down, you can't even see it when I open my eyes. So just keep that in mind if you have different eye shapes. If you have lots of eyelid, just go ahead and do it, you know, slightly above the crease. Um, I've done it quite a bit above my crease, actually. And then if you have hooded eyelids, you know, just kind of do like me. Because you want to see, you want to see the product. You want to see the look once your eyes are open, not just when they're shut. And I'm going in once again with the gel liner. Again, anything you have on hand, any kind of black eyeliner will do. Um, it is helpful though to have some sort of brush to blend it in and spread the product around if you are using a, a pencil. Now I'm going in with the black eyeshadow once again to kind of set that gel liner and just really unify the two products. I am blending out once again because we know we got to blend until we bleed. There you go. And my foundation is magically done. I'm just going to clean up that eyeshadow with a little bit of concealer as well as go ahead and finish my under eye. So we're going to highlight the under eye. And I'm really loving this Real Techniques brush. I've mentioned it in a couple other videos. But it is just a great blending blush for concealer. Going in with my concealer again. Whatever concealer you have on hand will do. I use this one in every single video because I love it. I'll leave the links to all the products in the description box below if you're interested in that. If not, you know, just use whatever you have on hand. I am highlighting my chin, my cupid's bow, the center of my nose, the center of my forehead, just bringing light to those areas. And today I'm not going to do a crazy contour because I feel like this, the center of this look are the eyes and I want that to be the focus. So I am just going to highlight a little bit to give dimension to my face. Set that with a little bit of RCMA no color powder. Just lightly, because I don't like to set things 
overly set thing because I like that nice natural dewy glow if you haven't noticed yet I have not gotten into the the matte foundation look thus far I am all about the dew so I'm going in with a detail brush and I'm putting that same exact orange color for my Jaclyn Hill palette below and then with another definer brush that is flat I am lining my eyelids with the black I, no, it's not eyeliner, with a black eyeshadow, the same exact eyeshadow. We just want that black eyeshadow to kind of smoothly transition into the orange eyeshadow. And now I'm just buffing it out with a brush, the same brush that I used with the orange eyeshadow to really blend that out. Now I'm going in with the same gel liner that I used before and a very teeny tiny detail brush. And I am just doing underneath the eyelashes. Now I'm going below and just really tight lining that waterline and covering it with some black eyeliner. Again, you can use a pencil if you want. This is really going to make the eyes pop and it's really gonna make your, whatever color your eyes are, it's gonna make it really stand out. Go again into that waterline, the bottom waterline. As you can see, the eyes are getting smokier and smokier and smokier with each little detail. This look is all about the details because you really need few products for it. Again, you can use a different color than orange, you can use pink, brown, whatever you want. Whatever matches your dress. So now I'm going in with some bronzer. This is the Physician's Formula. As you guys know, I am obsessed with this product and this blending brush. I wanted to go in with bronzer instead of like a really harsh contour because we want the makeup to look a little bit more natural and fresh. Here I'm adding just a little bit of highlighter and glow to the high points of my cheeks. This is the, oh, there's my daughter crying in the background. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. The more bronzy one, I forget the name of it, but I'll leave a link below. Go into the chin, the cupid's bow. Above the brow bone. Isabella. Bye, Isabella. <laughs> Going down the nose a little bit. And we are just going to highlight right there beneath the brow to really make those smoky eyes just pop. Do the other eye. We are almost done with this gorgeous look. And pop of highlight right there on the inner eye. This is a step we cannot skip. I'm looking for something. <laughs> what are you doing, Cherish? What are you looking for? Ah, lipstick. Okay. <laughs> so this is the Teddy Bear lipstick from Milani. I am really loving this lipstick. I use it with so many different looks, especially when I just want the eyes to be the center of attention, I'll use this teddy bear. Bear as in bear naked, not as in actually teddy bear. <laughs> and just blending that in with my finger. So this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that it was helpful. Leave your comments below letting me know what you want to see next. Thanks for joining me. Ciao. You guys, I can't even see with these eyelashes. Please don't do this. Don't ever do this. It's torture. I don't know how people wear these every single day. All right, let's get with it. Let's get <laughs> But you know what? If you're going to do a smoky eye like this, you need these eyelashes. Otherwise, you have like zero eyelashes. You just look like...
gothic. And that's not what we're going for. All right. Bye. Um, with just a few... Blah, blah. I hate myself. <laughs>